My friends, this is the last Layer 0 airdrop tutorial we will ever make on this YouTube channel. The token has been confirmed. Early next year, we will see the Layer 0 token in our wallets. But my question is, are you ready? This will be the biggest airdrop in history, in my opinion. We have been farming this for months. And finally, we are going to do the most thorough Layer 0 guide known to mankind. So, welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. Purely my own opinion and based on my research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose and make sure you use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and be sure to follow us on twitter at altcryptogens for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides project reviews articles and everything crypto related okay guys let's jump straight into the video okay my friends so we're officially on the layer zero website which is layerzero.network and in the past, we've made layer zero airdrop guides, which if you've watched those, you should have a rough idea of what we're going to be doing. What you're going to need is a MetaMask wallet or a wallet of any kind with Ethereum and some Ethereum compatible assets. In this video, I will show you exactly what you need to do to qualify for the layer zero airdrop. Well, exactly what I'm going to be doing to qualify for the airdrop. So if you want to get started, follow me. So the first step is to go up to the top where it says layer zero scan. And I'll show you why we're going to be doing this. Here you can see everything that is going on within the layer zero ecosystem. All of the transactions that are taking place will be shown in this website known as layer0scan.com. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going up to the top where it says protocols. As you can see, guys, it will show us the top protocols within the layer zero ecosystem. And it also shows us the amount of volume within the last day, week, month, and so on. So what I just want to show you is, guys, that Stargate, Merkley, Angle, Cordell, Aptos Bridge, Bitcoin.B, DeFi Kingdoms, Harmony, Testnet Bridge, Abracadabra Money, OmniX, L2 Marathon, and so on. All of these are the top protocols used within the Layer 0 ecosystem. And all of these you can use to qualify for the airdrop. Now, we're going to have to be using these protocols to qualify for the Layer 0 airdrop, as all of these protocols have integrated Layer Zero's technology. So we're going to find Stargate, the website. But just to show you guys that this is the top protocol within the Layer 0 ecosystem with $34 million in total volume. Now, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to head over to CoinMarketCap. I either like to use CoinMarketCap or Twitter to find official links. So I'm just going to do STG, which I know is the Stargate Finance ticker, just like so. I'm going to scroll down on the left hand side, click website. You have to connect your wallet, just like so. And just to let you know, guys, everything on the Stargate Finance website is not connected to Layer 0. It's only certain things like bridging. So, for example, if we go over to the transfer tab at the top, so you can transfer tokens between different networks. So, for example, you can transfer ETH, STG, which is Stargate's token, USDC, DAI, Optimism, and so on. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bridging over my Stargate tokens from the Optimism network over to another network. But you don't actually have to do this, guys. You can do any token that is compatible. However, some tokens aren't compatible to send to other networks, so just bear that in mind. So I'm just going to be sending Stargate token to, say, the Arbitrum network. All I have to do is click Max and then Transfer. However, what I can do is, if I wanted to, I could just swap some more tokens into STG, and then I could just send some more STG over. However, this is enough for me, so I'm just going to click Transfer, and this is just to show you how to do it. So... This is using the Stargate Finance Bridge, which is using Layer Zero's technology. I would highly recommend using this if you want to transfer assets and to obviously qualify for the airdrop. Now, all you have to do is just use the transfer part of the Stargate Finance protocol to qualify for Layer Zero's airdrop. The token should arrive in the Arbitrum network within two minutes. So you can close this, guys. It is completely done. And then we're going to move on to the next protocol, which you don't actually have to do this in order, guys. You can pick and choose which ones you want to do. However, that's how you would do it. But going back, I want to go over to the Layer Zero website and show you some important things to do. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see their official bridges that they've got on their website. They've got the Testnet bridge, which is very important. They've got the USDC bridge, which is strictly for USDC stablecoins. You've got the Bitcoin bridge, and then you've got the Aptos bridge, which, which obviously allows you to transfer EVM assets to Aptos. So for example, we can now head over to Layer 3, which is a Quest platform. And if you haven't used this, guys, I'm going to leave a link for you in the description below. And if you go up into the search bar at the top, all you'd have to do is search for Layer 0. As you can see, guys, we've got a whole bunch of different quests that you can complete. I've completed some of them. I still need to do a few. But as you can see, explore emerging chains. You would click on it. It would try the ZK Sync Collection, try Layer 0 quest. And it's basically helping you qualify for the Layer 0 airdrop. 
Now, there are eight active quests, guys, so I just recommend going through all of these. It tells you exactly what to do and how to do it, and it will basically just help you qualify for the airdrop. As you can see, it's got different challenges, such as introduction to layer zero, exploring the Bitcoin bridge, exploring the testnet bridge, exploring the omnichain borrowing, a layer zero explorer, learn about the Bitcoin and testnet bridge, learn about the Aptos bridge, introduction to color trace, and it basically shows you how to bridge and how to do everything that you need to do to qualify for layer zero's airdrop. Now, going back, you would just want to go through all of these bridges or as many as possible you don't actually have to do them all but you are going to get higher odds of an airdrop or actually increase the amount of tokens you get from the airdrop just by using all of them or as many as you can so for example if you did aptos you would come on here connect your aptos and metamask wallet and then transfer between the two so for example let's just see ethereum token come on here down to the aptos network and then just choose aptos as the token and then you just send ethereum and then it would switch between aptos in your aptos wallet simple as do that guys it's very easy if you've got an aptos wallet same with bitcoin it works exactly the same choose a network that you want to send bitcoin to for example if i wanted to send it to arbitrum i could do bnb to arbitrum just choose the amount of bitcoin that i want to send over it's a fully native bitcoin bridge powered by layer zero and this would definitely help you qualify for the airdrop same with the aptos one same thing with the usdc one guys you would just use this however this is now out of bounds until the main net is launched for the usdc bridge so you can't actually use this right now but when it does it will be fully live however for those who did use it you should have an increased odds of getting the airdrop now don't worry if you didn't use this guys it is not much of a big deal you can also use the testnet bridge which i think is very important you can literally swap real tokens for testnet tokens which is absolutely fantastic and i've done so and for example if i wanted to swap real ethereum on arbitrum network over to girly ethereum on the girly network i can do exactly that and i have done that in the past which i can show you now i've had so much girly ethereum so if i show you my testnet this one i have 6.4 girly eth which is a lot now you can do that all on this protocol and it is a great protocol to use so that's basically all of the main stuff on the layer zero website but going back to the protocols you want to just go through as many of these as you can so if we go to merkley we know that is one that we want to do. Merkley has seen a volume of $8.8 .8 million, making it the second largest layer zero protocol. So we'd go back to Merkley, go over to the website, which we found officially on Twitter. And here, guys, you can literally just mint and bridge NFTs between different networks, all powered by layer zero. You can do it from Base, Zora, Carver, Phantom, Polygon, ZKVM. They've actually got pretty much every network there. And then you would just click bridge and off you go. If it doesn't work, don't worry, guys. Some things aren't available. For example, here it says tokens from V1 are not compatible with V2. So just bear this all in mind. You can go through all of the different features on the protocol. This is just another layer zero protocol. And here, this one's another protocol that is integrated with Polyhedra, another airdrop we are focusing on, which you can find in the link in the description below. Now, this is just another layer zero protocol that I recommend using. Don't actually have to use it, guys. It's just another one that you can use. Going back another protocol is angle now you don't actually have to use all these protocols like i've mentioned multiple times however you can do so just by going through them all of the ones that you want to use on the layer zero scan website so i'm just going to be using the top protocols as i think that's the best idea everyone's basically doing it all the whales that know about this airdrop must be doing it for a reason so i'm just going to be doing it like they are i'm going to be launching the app and for some reason guys I hate this, but because I'm in the UK, I cannot use this protocol. However, for those who can access it, I would definitely recommend using it. This is a stable coin focused protocol that I would definitely recommend using, like I said. So guys, if you're able to use this and you're not one of the prohibited countries, then by all means use it. That's another protocol to go through. Moving on, you can use CoreDAO, the Aptos Bridge, which we've already mentioned, Bitcoin Bridge, which we've already mentioned, DeFi Kingdoms, which is a game and also a subnet on the Avalanche Network. We've got Harmony, we've got the Testnet Bridge, we've got Abracadabra Money, Omni X, L2 Marathon, L2 Telegraph, Radiant Capital, which is another one. But you can just say, for example, if you want to do the L2 Marathon, which is another popular one, you can do that. L2 Telegraph, you can do that. I think Radiant Capital is another popular one we should use alongside Angle, Merkley, and Stargate Finance. So if we just go over to CoinMarketCap again, find the official website. All we do is go to the left-hand side, scroll down, find website. And this works exactly the same as Stargate Finance. Not all of the features on the website are used from layer zero, only the transfer option. So once you've connected your wallet, you should do so by going on the top right corner, choosing MetaMask or your correct wallet. Once you're on here, guys, then you would have to have Radiant tokens. You can't use any other token. And then you basically just send between different networks. So if I just chose, for example, the Arbitrum network. So for example, if I just swap some Radiant tokens, say if I go to swap on my MetaMask wallet, select the token, I know I'm gonna get Radiant. So I'm gonna swap some BNB into that. Let's just say I do around $5 worth. Superb, we have now got our Radiant tokens. So if we go back here, 
refresh the page as you can see i've got 21.47 rdnt tokens in my wallet as we can see here and i'm going to be transferring them all so i'm going to click all of that and i'm going to be bridging it over to the arbitrum network i don't want to do it to the main net because it's more expensive however arbitrum is perfect so i click bridge now i would definitely recommend doing more than five dollars of volume if you can try and get as much volume as humanly possible because that would definitely increase your odds of the airdrop you don't want to make yourself cyber guys that is one thing we definitely do not want you can just leave this guys you can wait for it to finalize and reach the other side or you can just simply close the tab and come back later but it is basically all done you can go over to the arbitrum network and see your tokens there so use this as much as possible you do the same thing with stargate finance and you'll be all right with the airdrop omnic is another protocol you can use available on many other networks trader joe is another one so for example if we go up into the website go up to the top where there's three little dots go to bridge and by the way this is my favorite decentralized exchange on the avalanche network if not one of my favorite bridges of all time you're going to connect your wallet, select MetaMask, continue. And here, guys, you would just bridge from different networks. And obviously, it works exactly the same as Stargate Finance and Radiant Capital. Like I said, not all the features are used with Layer 0, only the bridging feature. So from the BNB chain or the Arbitrum or Avalanche network, you choose your network, for example, Arbitrum, select your other network, say if it was Avalanche, and then you have to buy Joe tokens and then transfer the Joe tokens between those networks. Say if I was on the Arbitrum 1 network and I switched over and I bought myself a Joe token, for example, I would have my tokens, I would type in 9, and then I would just send my tokens over to the Avalanche network, and this will help you qualify for the airdrop. So if I just did that as an example, say I just buy a Joe token, which we can see here. I'm going to buy around $5, $6 worth, just like before. Click swap, transaction complete. Now if I come back here, refresh the page, say if I send it over to the BNB chain, which it is compatible on, I click max, click transfer, and then it's a total of $2.42, so it's quite expensive. However, this is going to help us qualify for a potential $10,000 plus airdrop. So just do that, guys. Do that with the Trader Joe platform. You can come back, go over to the protocols again on layer zero. And there's so many other protocols here which are fantastic. So Maverick Protocol is a superb one to use. Pancake Swap, exactly the same thing as doing it on Trader Joe. You would just bridge tokens. Obviously, cake tokens. Scroll down. Another protocol to use is MintDAO, one that I think that you should definitely do. And I'll tell you why now. On the official MintDAO website are official NFTs that you can collect from Layer Zero. So you've got the Layer Zero Expedition, start your omnichain adventure with one click, seamlessly bridge NFTs across Layer Zero supported blockchains and create your unique story. So guys, you can buy this Layer Zero Expedition NFT. All you'd have to do is connect your wallet, follow Twitter, like and retweet, and then you just mint on as many different networks as possible. And then you can bridge your NFTs between different networks. You would just select the NFT that you have. It would be this Layer Zero Expedition one, and then you would just bridge it between different networks. And using this bridge, as you can see, is powered by MintDAO and Layer Zero, and this will help you qualify for the airdrop. So definitely another protocol to use. Another fantastic one is WooFi, which we've done in the past. And if we go on to WooFi and we launch the app, all you would do is, guys, connect your wallet, just simply come on here, swap some tokens, and you are good to go. So I've given you so many different protocols to go through. I've given you the official link to find the top protocols from layer zero, which no one else has done, I'm pretty sure. And you can come on here and use pretty much all of them to qualify for the airdrop, which is going to be absolutely enormous. Guys, this is going to be the 60th airdrop video in this playlist. Make sure to check it out. We've got some serious videos that we've been doing for eight months now, all of which can help us get $100,000 in airdrops. So check them all out. We've got Metamar, ZK Sync, Zeta Chain, Base, OPBNB, Venom, Cashmere Labs, Linear, Orbiter Finance, Zerion, Dmail, Starknet, SyncSwap, Tyco, Zora, D.Fi, Rabbit Hole, Manta Network, Star Legend, Polyhedra, RiseFi, Polygon ZKVM, Magic Eden, Zappify, Magic Square, Wormhole, and so many more. Do not miss out on these airdrops, ladies and gentlemen. This is your ticket, your golden ticket. Guys, Thank you so much again for watching and we appreciate you all and we currently have a promotion running on bybit the best centralized exchange platform for buying trading and earning bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple if you need help finding the right crypto gems then follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews crypto guides and more Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DJs.